Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to texture mod Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In order to do this, you will need Mass Effect Modder, which I will link to in the description. Today we're going to be modding a eye texture for Mass Effect 1. So you can see there's the different all three Mass Effect games here, and they're and their own options. Now, in order to get access to the textures of the game to extract the eye texture, the, the original one, you will need to click Texture Manager under the Mass Effect 1. Now the first time you do this, it will need to scan your game files in order to find all the textures and create this big list. But when, it shouldn't take too long, but once you do that, you don't need to do it again unless you instruct it to delete the file that you made for this list. Anyway, the textures that you usually are editing are in the BIOG folders. In this case, this is the HMF, which is human female, and then HED, which is head. This is the Promorph files, which is all the head textures for the female characters. The head textures for the male characters are down here in the HMM file, which is human male. We're going to be editing the eye textures in the this the human female folder the human male folder, and then this folder for the Asari. As you can see, I've already replaced the textures with my own, but normally you would go down here to the female textures. This is the original, this would be the original eye texture. For me it's not, but normally it would be. You would right click this, extract a DDS, and then select a folder to save the texture in. You would need this texture, the Eye Master Diffuse, which is in the female texture folder. The normal map, if you want to replace the normal map, which is... The, the normal map is basically the texture that simulates bumps and ridges that aren't actually on the model. In most cases, you won't need to replace this, but for me, I did. And then the specular, you likely won't also, also won't need to replace. but in case you change the size of the iris or something, you might need to. Uh, this controls, normally the specular controls the shininess of a texture, how much it reflects light, but I think in this case, it this red circle also controls the color tint of the eyes, but I'm not sure on that. I can't find a tint file for the eyes, so I assume it's this. Anyway, the main files you would need to make an eye texture would be the diffuse, which would be this one, the eye master diffuse in the female folder, the eye diff in the male folder. The eye diff in the male folder and the eye diff in the Asari folder are the same texture. I've extracted both of them and they have the same name. Um, so you can just extract the male one and you're good. The norm file in the male folder and the norm file in the female folder are also the same. So you only need to extract this tile, this file, and this file in the male folder. Now, the default eye texture looks like this. This is the ugly default eye texture. I've already extracted this and created my own with the software that I will link in the, also link in the video description. Now, in order to replace the default eye textures, what you can just manually replace the textures by right-clicking and clicking Replace Texture and then selecting the texture you want to replace it with and you'll get a progress bar in the bottom left that will tell you when it's, you're just done changing the texture for you. But I find that sometimes gives me errors, like I replaced the eyeless texture manually and they crashed my whole game. <laughs> so I prefer to make a mod. So what you want to do is create a folder. I use TGA files for my mods. You want to the uh, you want to basically take the eye texture you made, create two of the diffuse and one of the normal files, which this is the normal map, and you want to name them the same as the textures you extracted. So the default eye texture, there was two of them. There was eye diff and then human female eye master. You want both of those to be your new texture. 
you want to name them this exact thing with the all the numbers at the end because that's the ID number of the texture and you also want the normal file if you replace that though you don't necessarily need to um, you want to put all of those three files in a folder and if you also replace the specular you also want it in here you want to put all of those in a folder and then you go down to mod manager under mass effect 1 create mod and then you will navigate to that folder you put the files in click select folder and then it'll bring up you want to name the MMEM file which is your mod file I already have one so I'm just going to overwrite it click yes and then it will create the mod file for you and it automatically detects what those textures are in the base game with by other names and then replaces them and then you want to if you want to install your own mod click mod installer add to list and then you click on the MEM file that comes in the list and then you click on it and then click install selected mods and you get another progress bar in the bottom left corner that will tell you when your mod is installed. It may take a while. It takes a while to install new textures, it seems like, at least on my computer. Now, you will, once you have that installed, it should be in your game and hopefully nothing went wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, you, your game may crash, but hopefully it doesn't. I have now loaded up my game and in photo mode, I am looking at the eye texture, which I think it turned out very well. Looks very nice in close up screenshots. Happy modding, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, and you'd like to support me in my mods, you can support me on Patreon, which I will link in the description. Thank you for watching.